In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can disable the Bixby feature on your QLED smart TV. That's today's video. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So today we're going to be diving into how to disable the Bixby feature on this TV. Now, one of the great things that this TV offers is the Bixby feature, but one of the worst things that it offers is the Bixby feature. And what I mean by that is Bixby is built into these televisions where it picks up your voice recognition. So it's got the artificial intelligence built in where it picks up voice commands. The only problem with that is I don't think that Samsung has fine tuned it enough for me to use it on a frequent basis. Uh, there would be times that I was sitting on my recliner talking to my wife and the Bixby feature would come off without me even activating it. Now the way to activate it is you have to say, hey Bixby or hello Bixby and then it would recognize its name and then it would chime up you know, from the bottom here. Um, but it was too inconsistent for me to where I was getting aggravated with it so I wanted to disable it. Now the problem was the settings and going in there to disable it was not real defined and when I got online to figure out how to do it I couldn't find anywhere uh, on, on a Samsung forums or anywhere where somebody had told me the specific ways to disable it on this QLED television. So I thought I'd make a video to show you guys how to do that because if I'm, ha if I'm having that problem, there's probably somebody else out there that's having that same problem. Uh, so I figured it out by just diving into it and playing with it for like an hour and um, I was able to disable it and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that also. So let's go ahead and dive into the TV and uh, get it unhooked, disabled, turned off, whatever you want to call it. Let's do that now. Okay, so I've got the remote in hand right here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit that home button right there. Uh, now, Bixby is usually activated by pressing that button. Look, she just activated by hearing it. See, the, that's just inconsistent. Uh, sometimes it pops up, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but right here, usually you would press that button there and hold it to activate the voice assistant. Um, but sometimes it activates through your voice, sometimes it activates through a button, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it. So you're gonna to wanna to go right here to this home screen or home button right here, which brings up the home screen, just like that. And then all these icons down here, these are all the um, different kinds of apps that Samsung lets you download. And as you can see, I've got like Disney Plus, I got all the major ones, Hulu, Apple TV, uh, there's a Samsung app there, but over here, go all the way to the left, right before the bell icon, and go to where it says settings. Now, don't go up and check any of those boxes there. Go onto the settings tab and then push the button. Okay, so now it brings up this picture menu here, and you're going to want to go down to general. And then right over here, you'll see where it says Bixby voice settings. That's where the setting that you want to go on. Bixby voice settings and select that. All right, so now it brings you to this um, screen here. This has the Bixby language where you could select it in different kind of languages. Right now I have it in English United States because that's where I live. But over to the left on this side here, you'll see a different columns. So we're going to go to voice response. Um, you can change the different um, people that will actually talk to you. So it's kind of neat that you can have like, you know, John or Julia or even Elisa on there. But right now it's default set to Stephanie. Uh, the right here, voice wake up is where you want to go. And it says, wake up with a high big speed. So right now it's set to on. Down here is the sensitivities. So right now it's just on medium and the way it is activating it and um, sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't it is on medium. So you could go over to low and lower the sensitivity on it or you can just come here and go to off. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select it so that it turns Bixby off. 
And then now I won't have that issue of it activating whenever I'm having a conversation with somebody in my house. So then you would go back to the home screen and I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in ambient mode. So it gets the fancy screen on there again and then we'll see if it activates it. Ooh, let me go back. Okay. Hey Bixby. Hey Bixby. And as you can see, it no longer gets activated. And then I'm gonna try it on the remote too. We'll push the button. Hey Bixby. Okay, now it activates it manually, but it is not no longer activated by the voice assistant, which was the annoying feature. So if I do want to use it, I have to hit the button and that's the way I want it to be. Uh, so if you press this button here, you can activate it, but no longer through just voice command. So that's how you turn off your Bixby uh, voice assisted smart TV feature. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful to you in uh, learning how to disable this feature on your TV. If it was, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back on the next one. So until then, be creative.